to doing our bit. Today well, I'm going to discuss something that came up in a Give Energy forum, which is where you have a hybrid inverter like I have, and you add a car charger. And the problem is that if your inverter, your hybrid inverter, can see the car charger, rather than actually use the export, what it will actually do is drain the battery to meet the load, which it perceives just like the house. The solution that I found happened really by accident because we originally had a BP Charge Master car charger. When that was installed, it was installed with a consumer unit which was mounted directly next to our outside meter box. It actually wasn't an outdoor consumer unit and this is something you need to watch for because despite the fact that actually they swore blind it was fine, our electrician actually condemned it. Because of this separate consumer unit, the hybrid inverter does not see the car charger's demand so does not discharge the battery to meet it. By placing the CD clamp of the car charger directly on the meter out means that the car charger can see when the solar is exporting to the grid. You will not have this issue, however, if your car charger is controlled by the same smart software as your hybrid inverter. Give Energy are adding an EV car charger to their ecosystem while my energy have at the time of this video just announced they are adding a hybrid inverter plus battery system. So if you're just looking now at a new battery system, you can avoid this issue by installing their own managed car charger. However, with the wide range of hybrid inverters and car chargers available, it's likely this is an issue you need to be aware of when adding a car charger to your existing hybrid inverter. The only downside of this setup is that the My Energy data, or whatever you have on your hybrid system, obviously will show an export figure that is much greater than the real export figure. But it's simply a question of, of comparing your actual export from your energy supplier versus that and you can tell the difference. And in any case, you have a, you should have a record on your car charger exactly how much solar has actually been taken. So it's, it's a minor inconvenience, but nothing compared to draining the battery and not actually doing what you wanted to do. So the solution is to have a separate consumer unit and then to have a CT clamp, which is actually the other side of your meter. So this short video has been useful, and if so, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.